steal from your pot, basically, all because of jealousy, because they were jealous of your purpose, they were jealous of your mission, they were jealous of you as an individual. This person thinks of you as a very lucky person. Also, they admire you at the same time as well as they hate you at the same time. Um, and again, this is a masculine energy. It's very, very overt, but covert at the same time. Meaning they're overt to their friends about how much they hate you and how much they don't like you. But they're covert to your face. Like they don't want you to see that they actually are like this. Okay. Now, for a lot of you guys, this has put you guys in a financial bind. In a bind for a year. Some of you guys. Not everybody this is going to relate to. Okay. But it really seriously delayed some of your progress. It delayed you in different ways. It slowed down your life a little bit. And it was this person causing conflict in your life, okay? This person was praying to these deities and hoping and saying that they hope you don't, that you, they hope you don't achieve what it is that you need to achieve and, and doing all these things. And for a while, you guys, some of you guys in the collective were spiritually dense. Like you didn't know much. You didn't know how to protect yourself. You didn't really know. You wasn't really into prayer. You wasn't really doing your fasting. You wasn't really, you know, having your spiritual hygiene up to par. Okay. And this is how these spirits were able to get in and attack you and slow you down a little bit. Okay. This is not to say that you were harmed or hurt, but some of you guys were harmed or hurt in the process, which is very unfortunate. Okay, um, but that's not going to be for everybody. However, when I said that this is about the Grim Reaper, I mean that because this some, somebody around this person, either them or somebody around. Okay, guys, let's get into the collective message. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tapping the screen. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for the love and thank you for your contribution energetically. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and clear the energy out and then we're going to get into the collective read. Okay. This is going to be very triggering to some people because this is about the grim reaper all right y'all know who the grim reaper is the grim reaper coming to take somebody no lie oh, if i'm lying i'm flying this has been going on for weeks but i actually seen it so seen it a couple times actually last week it was two children two childlike energies the week before that, it was a man. And the week before that, it was a woman. Okay. Don't be worried. The enemy wants you to worry. This may not be your message. Okay. So don't be worried. It may not be for you. Okay. This is a very specific message. It's going to be for a very specific audience. Okay. Okay. And they will know who I'm talking to. Amelia, you don't have nothing to worry about, honey. Thank you for tapping the screen. What's up, Tammy? All right, guys, let me do my intro and then we're going to get into the collective read. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Nibir Bomani. Welcome to the Prophetess, okay? This is Tarot Redefined by Human Design. And if you don't know what that is, I suggest you go take a look on Google, okay? Everybody that knows this space here knows that everything you need to know is uh, in the link in the bio. All the things are down below when it comes to my website, booking with me, booking readings, booking personals, etc. If you would like to contribute to the channel, thank you so much. Um, that is in the bio as well. Uh, this is going to be a collective message for anybody who this connects to. All right. Um, 
please listen, read, practice tarot with discernment. All these messages are not going to be for you, okay? So if you hear something that applies to you, take what applies. Leave the rest for somebody else. That's how it works when we're listening to collective messages, all right? I also want to say thank you so much for the um, subscribers in the last couple days. I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate the support, and it doesn't go unnoticed, okay? I also noticed that some of you guys have been sending me uh, donations via cash app and venmo i do not ask for it but i do appreciate it so thank you um i'm gonna get into a collective message here today and it's gonna be kind of like triggering for some but um as you guys know uh i channel messages in various different ways okay one of the ways being through the astros right i come over here and i share messages with you guys when the spirit shows me that it's okay if it's ever okay some of these messages get channeled and they get uh recorded but they never get seen by you guys because it's just not time to take them out yet or ever you know what i mean but this message in particular is for somebody in the collective okay all right the way this is gonna go is i'm gonna read to you what i've been channeling the last couple uh days over the weekend and then I will get into the collective message. Okay, so I've been hearing a couple songs. Let me see something. Let's see. What song is out here? Okay, do y'all know that song Robin, Ramen and OJ? Y'all know that song? Ramen and OJ. I'm going to read the lyrics to y'all. Because this could be relevant to some of you guys. Okay? It has to do with the message, okay? Ramen and OJ. Okay. Alright, so the lyrics say... The lyrics say... I got some needs... I need the money, like I need to breathe. I need the hun hundreds, a whole lot of. Tell that little, I'm out of her league. I'm out of her league. Yeah, I'm out of her league. I got some needs. I need the money, like I need to breathe. I need some hundreds. I need to scheme. I need the W by any means. Yada, yada. Enough is enough. I think I'm allergic to the suckers. You ends keep making me sneeze. Okay, hey, Jean. Now, if you listen to this ra this ramen and OJ song, I'm gonna tell you how it's relevant to this to this message. What's up, Dee Dee? Hey, girl. This is talking about a masculine who is very attached to worldly possessions. Okay, someone who is very attached to looks, the look of something, their worldly possessions. Okay, this is a, a masculine who thinks that he's better than a woman. Okay. And again, masculine energies can be feminine too, can be feminine in body, all right? So keep that in mind, collective. All right, this is a masculine though who, who thinks that they're better than a woman, all right? This masculine could be undercover, like DL, all right? Um, and this is someone like stunting on somebody, like stunting on a woman, stunting on a female, stunting on a, a feminine energy, like it's really weird. It's almost like a jealousy that's attached to the energy okay this person secretly envies the divine feminine okay this masculine energy all right and they have like a god complex meaning that they think that they um this is a type of person that's into spirituality but they they think that they're talking to spirit and they're talking to god but they're talking to these you feel what i'm saying like it's like you can't listen to everybody who reads tarot who is a psychic or whatever because you don't know where they get their gifts from right use your discernment i always tell y'all that use your discernment right so this person is acting like he's better than than the divine feminine right amelia said you always blow my mind <laughs> i hope that's a good thing um but yeah this masculine is feeling like he's better than this chick and he's in in um 
this this low vibrational like karmic energy but he's supposed to be a divine masculine okay but he he's not really acting like it okay and so he's trying to stunt on this divine feminine because he's in secret competition with with her okay um this person is really like about looks okay they gratitude didi they they really go for people for what they have all right this is the type of person that looks at people with face value and be like oh yeah i can fuck with them they got a lot of money or they got a lot of whatever da, 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 da. and they be so fucking wrong because they they just dense okay um yeah but this is the type of person that gets gifts from the dark side meaning they don't really they don't they they try it's like you guys are the divine feminine and a lot of you guys can have gifts you could be psychics you could be mediums you could be star seeds you could be f fucking reiki healers and that's what i'm talking to i'm talking to y'all who have like some sort of even earth angels all right even earth angels out here okay but y'all have a gift whether y'all know it or not and these people smell it on you whether you're practicing or not or whether you're because your gift could be presented in different ways like you could be a nurse and be an earth angel like you know what i mean and that's how you contribute to the world that's how your gift is contributing to the world you know um but this person wants to be better than you so bad but it's like they wasn't called they wasn't ordained they're not on the same frequency they're not on the same level it's like they're trying to compete with you energetically and it's like they want your they want your fucking position they want your spot they wanted your spot okay this is past tense though they wanted your spot for some of you it's past tense they wanted your spot all right and so they've been competing with you secretly all right it says um it says this is ramen and oj okay for those of you who are new here i'm channeling via song okay this is the song that came to me all right it says if them off if them off of blood i'm making them bleed you trying to run i'm trying to break in your knees i made them fall i'm breaking the leaves you know i ball like i play for the league i mean what i say and i mean what i mean ain't no joke i ain't making no memes if i pull up on them i'm making a scene boop 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 i'm making them scream <laughs> you know what i mean it said i hope you never say my name in vain I'm with whatever, just not, just not for the games. I know they say I change. I cannot say the same. I bet they want me shackled and locked in the chains. I guess because this just happens with the bad news. On my mama, I never been fragile. I'm the wrong one to fuck with. It's taboo. Turn on you niggas rip with tattoos. Okay? Listen to me. Okay? Listen to me, guys. Listen to me, guys. This is the thing this song right here it, this is some masculine here in this energy <laughs> what's up <laughs> what's up this is some this is a masculine in the energy feeling like they're untouchable like they feel like they're untouchable they feel like they're so untouchable they feel like they just it like they just uh they just the bees knees like like they feel like the, the gifts that they possess or they think they possess when they talking to whatever spirits they think they talking to or whatever they worship or whatever the case may be they feel like they have some sort of like governance over you like some sort of ranking over you they think that they outrank you right and it's like a no <laughs> sir man bro sis you do not stop playing with the divine feminine because you will get your ass in the dirt all right and we'll get to that in a second okay so they basically bragging on how like they came up from the bottom and they get it like it is or whatever the case may be and they protect it and all of this stuff but like these spirits are only going to protect them as long as they do the work as long as they can provide whatever they said they was going to give in return okay and that's how i know they're not talking to spirit because these spirits these other spirits want want want, want they do justice they want they they want their shit back okay yeah we help you out so where's our where's our cut that's what they want <laughs> they want they cut all right so i don't know what these he's this person playing praying to i'm gonna tell you in just a second right um but they want their shit back 
they want or they want what they was promised like we help you you help us okay now they think because they dabble and they have like a connection or they deal with these darker spirits that somehow they're more favored than you that somehow they're more covered than you that somehow that they're untouchable okay and <laughs> this person feels like this person feels like you are trying to you trying to protect yourself right because a lot of you guys are using like protection magic and you guys are doing like return ascenders or you guys are doing you're getting your spiritual hygiene up that's what it is and they're experiencing a lot of delays and dilemmas behind what you're doing right but it's not even just that it's the fact that you you're covered like a lot of times they get met with a brick wall every time they try to do something to you because it fires back it get it goes right back like a boomerang because of your rank because of your position okay for a lot of you guys and then if it's not that it's the fact prayer changes things exactly if it's not that it's your heart your heart is pure spirit knows you do everything with a pure heart and so they keep trying to do things to you and it's just not working out right and they keep getting hit back and so when they keep getting hit back they think that you're doing the same thing they're doing back to them oh you want to fight you want a duel they think this is pokemon they think this is Yu-Gi-Oh. it's not Yu-Gi-Oh, bitch it's not you're the only one on the playing field all right <laughs> it's not like come on ash catch him ass nigga in the face okay <laughs> come on <laughs> gotta catch them all nobody else on the nobody else on the fucking <laughs> <laughs> what it doesn't matter he tries no one exactly see that's what they do they try to form weapons that don't mean they'll prosper period but it's true though it's true y'all it's true you know and that's what they're doing so they thinking that your protection is you doing you you being on the battleground fucking sending stuff back in them Send stuff back. That's not true. It's just that you be praying, you be talking to God, you you cover, you favored, you got a good heart, you do things right. You got, you know what I mean, like. And so this person think, oh, they want to play. It's a very ego tripped out thing that this ha this person have. Like their ego is out of this world, and I don't know why they want to do this with you. I really don't know why. And it's really because you rejected they stupid ass. You rejected them. You didn't want to be with them. You knew your worth. And you walked away. For some of you in the collective. Alright. And so when it goes into this thing. It says. I hope you never say my name in vain. I'm with whatever. Just not for the games. Like this person's like. Like. What is it? Taunting you. Right. But you, they, they playing a game that you don't even know about. Like <laughs> you not even what you don't even know about this game that they playing like you know about it because you privy but you you like you you talking to yourself like literally talking to themselves <laughs> and so they say they they on some sort of ego trip where they think that they fighting with you in the spirit is strange okay and say. I know they say I change. I cannot stay the same. And that's them trying to assert their dominance over the over you. Okay? Whatever they think that is. And then it says, I bet they want me shackled and locked in the chains. Like, they've been telling people that you're crazy. They've been telling people that you're crazy. That you've been doing stuff to them in the spirit. That you've been texting them. That you've been threatening them. They be telling people all kinds of lies and shit. Right? My bad. I had to do the verification. They got someone else around them. Yes. He's, he initiated this. Exactly. Exactly. They be telling people lies about you. To keep the narrative going, but in their minds, they believe that they're fighting with you. 
like <laughs> what the fuck a lot for a lot of you you haven't seen this person in a while a long time okay it says um i bet they want me shackled in the chains okay i guess that's what's happened that's what happens with bad news on my mama i never been fragile i'm the wrong one to f with it's taboo okay so this person could have a strong connection to their mother like they are mama's boy they act like their mother is their girlfriend okay they act like they cannot make decisions without their mama all right and they always the type of person that be like oh my mama like oh mama oh mommy like <laughs> this is a big ass child okay this is a big ass child all right and then it says I'm the wrong one to fuck with. It's taboo. They feel as though she can go back to work on the streets. Damn. Wow. Sheesh. That's that's crazy. That's wild. That's actually crazy. Okay that's that's tough yeah um but yeah so this person's thinking that you're messing with them and it's gonna be taboo like you're gonna get some sort of like some sort of like repercussions for dealing with them when you don't even know what they're talking about you know what i mean and they really have this ego trip where they're walking around thinking they the like the real the real shango like they just walking around like just getting it like <laughs> they really think they out here like you know what i mean they not though okay and then they said still a youngin but i feel like an og again they're a young person they may not be super young but they're young and they feel like they're on the level of some sort of like initiated priest okay um can't forget all that shit like they told me you gonna turn back me into the old me like what <laughs> leveled up then bought me a mansion i can never go back to what has been it's like this person think that they they think that they're gonna they think that they some some divine god that is destined for wealth and they're gonna they're gonna stunt on you and <laughs> when, watch when you see watch when you see is what they saying you know what I mean so I don't understand this person but that's not my job okay and then it says y'all know that song F for me you know I got it F for me, you know I got it. A lot of them is is feeling like once they get on, you're gonna come begging them back. Like they 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 have it in their mind, like like they you gonna come begging them back, like, oh yeah, she gonna come begging me back. He gonna come begging me back. Like, sir, man, bruh, sis, you have not gotten on yet. You're still hanging on by your shoestrings, okay? By your Nike shoestrings. And we're waiting. <laughs> Nothing's happening. <laughs> We're waiting. We're waiting. Nothing's happening, sir. Please. The DMV is quicker than you. Okay. Please. <laughs> Anyways. What's up, Lo Johnson? How are you? We've been waiting. What's what's going on? You know? <laughs> But anyways, that was the channel's, um, the channel's song. Let's get into the message. So, again, I said that the, is this a reading of song lyrics? It's a part of my process, babes. Yes. It, the song is a part of the channel message and it's called, um, Ramen and OG. It's relevant to the message. Okay. When you're clear audience, a lot of times you get music downloads and they tell you things about people. All right. You got to know how to discern the words for yourself. Okay. 
so listen guys so there's somebody out here that is again let me preface this again for those of you who are new here right um she said wait is it, it waiting is a skill set a very particular skill set <laughs> okay <laughs> listen to me guys there is this is going to be a very dark reading okay this is not a joke this is for real for real all right but i have to say this it's for entertainment purposes purposes only because you know how they do on the tube on the on these internet streams you know how they do so this is a little bedtime story okay <laughs> You know what I mean. Um, but listen, so there's somebody in the collective that is heavy into Santeria, okay? If you guys don't know what Santeria is, you look it up for yourself, all right? But there's somebody in there heavy in Santeria, all right? This person likes to... Um, a call on it's been in their family probably for like years okay it's been in their family they 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 even probably have like one of them little wishing wells in the corner in their house somewhere um these people could be like of latin descent you know what i mean um and if they aren't they don't have to be okay they don't have to be um but that could be relevant to you okay um but there's somebody here that's calling on the spirit of, I'm not going to say it, but I'm going to allude to what I'm saying. In Santeria, there's a spirit that is like the Grim Reaper, but she's a woman. Okay. So do you, a lot of you guys might know who I'm talking about. If you don't know who I'm talking about, look into it. Okay. But there's a spirit starts with the M, okay? Um, and she just represents like death and rebirth, okay? A lot of people use her. A lot of people use her for like, um, you know, getting wealth and like blessings and protection and stuff like that, you know? Um, and a lot of people are scared of this kind of thing because they don't understand how this works, right? And so they're scared. They don't, if it's like, if it's not your thing, if you wasn't called to it, don't do it. You know what I mean? Um, but they're scared of it. They think, they think they, exactly, they think they're using her. Yes, but they, but she using them. Uh-huh. That's what they think, right? <laughs> That's what they think right and this is the thing right like you have to be very respectful you have to be very respectful and you have to um you have to abide by certain rules and regulations you just have to like you can't just go into that doing whatever you want to do right um but there's somebody out here that doesn't know the rules they don't know the rules they just are doing shit as it relates to this specific deity and um they're doing it because that's what they 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 know that's what they've been taught recently okay and they've been doing this as a means to stop your progress and to stop your growth and to stop your um your ability to do anything for yourself okay now the reason they've been doing this is because of what I was saying in the beginning. They've been jealous of you. They were mad that you rejected them in the beginning. And they try to cause delays in your life by praying to this deity and asking this deity to create to create obstacles for you. And, you know, to basically swap destinies with you. And do swapping abundance rituals and stuff like that. Um, that's what they were trying to use. Like, your energy to... Um, deal with this deity Okay uh, But I don't bother her I need to do more research Leah love and that's the perfect way to go about it Baby that is the perfect way To go about it Listen if you don't know what you're doing Do your research That's it Just do your research and and wait for it to wait for it to call on you wait wait for her to call on you if that's what what is gonna happen then it's gonna happen but people be going after 
people be going after things that they have no business doing. No business doing just because they heard their friend doing it. Just because they heard their their, their, their ex-girlfriend doing it. Just because they heard their family member doing it. And then they don't know nothing about it. And then they go calling on the spirit. And then it's like, okay, well, um, hello. This is what you, I can give you this. But what, what you can give me? You know what I mean? And so, how do you stop it? It's already stopped for most of you guys, but at the end of the day, this is the thing. Nothing has jurisdiction or, or authority over you unless you allow it to. You know what I mean? And how you guys allow it to, it, it all has to do with the fact that you knowing yourself, really, at the end of the day. You be of light, exactly. Prayer and be of light, right? Um, and being of light requires you to know yourself, right? Because you can't just be doing things just to receive things. You know what I mean? You can't just be doing things just to be a good person. It has to actually be, your heart has to actually be light, all right? You have to actually be doing it from a place of good intention. And how do you do that? You have to know yourself, you have to you have to know yourself you have to know humanity you have to know spirit you have to know you know and so this person trying to like swap destinies with you so for a lot of you guys it's an ongoing theme you know how it does this is a story that has been dragging out for the last two years all right um Okay. This is a story that has been going out for the last two years. I'm sorry. I had to block that person. When people get in my comments, I love you guys. When, but when people get in my comments and they, and they reiterate things over and over and over again, I feel like you're trying to redirect the stream. Okay. I don't care if you guys speak about your experiences. I love to hear it. But there are people who come in the comments continuously, like, teaching. And it's like, you can build your own platform for that. I come over there and support you, too. But, like, while I'm trying to do something, I don't need you over here, like, preaching to the people. Like, because you're distracting people from the message. You feel me? Like, like, I'm not saying that you wrong. I'm not saying that what you not what you saying is irrelevant. But what I'm saying is, is that you're distracting the audience. That's what you're doing. Okay, so you got to be blocked because your your ego is is out of control. Because every time I say something, you in here talking all oh, can't this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And this. And this and this and this and this and this and this and this. Okay. <laughs> my Mr. Husband told me to stop sharing my progress on social media. I feel that. As you should. As you should. Yeah. As you should. But no shade to that person. You know, I'm sure they meant well. Right? Um, but yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not the people who sing prayer and all this stuff. It's not y'all. It's not y'all. That's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the person that was just in here teaching and preaching. Okay. <laughs> all right. No shade though. Let's continue. But, um, but yeah. So you guys have to, you guys have been dealing with this person for a long time. You're not with him anymore, but this person really tried to do a number on you, okay? They tried to steal from your pot, basically, all because of jealousy, because they were jealous of your purpose. They were jealous of your mission. They were jealous of you as an individual. This person thinks of you as a very lucky person. Also, they admire you at the same time as well as they hate you at the same time. Um, and again, this is a masculine energy. It's very, very overt, but covert at the same time, meaning they're overt to their friends about how much they hate you and how much they don't like you, but they're covert to your face. Like they don't want you to see that they actually are like this. Okay. Now for a lot of you guys, this has put you guys in a financial bind. 
in a bind for a year. Some of you guys, not everybody this is going to relate to. Okay. But it really seriously delayed some of your progress and delayed you in different ways. It slowed down your life a little bit. And it was this person causing conflict in your life. Okay. This person was praying to these deities and hoping and saying that they hope you don't, that you, they hope you don't achieve what it is that you need to achieve and, and doing all these things. And for a while, you guys, some of you guys in the collective were spiritually dense. Like you didn't know much. You didn't know how to protect yourself. You didn't really know. You wasn't really into prayer. You wasn't really doing your fasting. You wasn't really, you know, having your spiritual hygiene up to par. Okay. And this is how these spirits were able to get in and attack you and slow you down a little bit. Okay. This is not to say that you were harmed or hurt, but some of you guys were harmed or hurt in the process, which is very unfortunate. Okay. Um, but that's not going to be for everybody. However, when I said that this is about the Grim Reaper, I mean that because this some, somebody around this person, either them or somebody around them is going to pass away okay and it keeps coming out okay and the reason for this is because it's a soul for a soul right it's a soul for a soul it's a soul for a soul okay so this has been from multiple people um, do you mean like m multiple people have been doing the same thing? Or do you mean that multiple people have been attacking the collective? Which one is it? Um, but yeah, so this person is going to either pass away or someone around them. But I'm seeing it's something about them. I don't like to say this kind of stuff because I don't want it to be like I'm projecting this but this is what's been coming out in the spirit a lot a lot a whole lot okay um now in this particular dream i told you i told you guys last week that there's a slow moving energy coming across the sun and coming across the moon multiple people yes multiple people have been attacking the collective absolutely yes okay um, they have, uh, because it's a mother, it's a, it's a family, it's a family, uh, it's a baby mom's, it's an ex karmic and it's the ex masculine. So the mask, it's like a whole family of people. Okay. It's also people at their job. It's people at the people at their job. And then randoms, okay? But uh, again, understand that there's a there's a source here. There's a source here, babe. There's a source. There's a source. The source is the person that, the person that, the collective was dealing with. That's the source, okay? Connected to them is a branch, and that branch is coming from that karmic feminine that he was dealing with, okay? Then, the family gets involved, where there's a karmic mother who is seriously acting like who, who's very similar to the karmic ex but they're targeting the divine feminine divine masculine you know flip the roles as they reverse now what's going on is that they have been projecting doing spell work via this deity that i was talking about earlier and they have been sending out death magic and they have been contracting these dark spirits to enter into to enter into low vibrational beings at the workplace in their families in their house you get what i'm saying so they've been attacked by even their friend groups because this person who is the source the center has been sending out this energy towards these low vibrational people in their life so for a lot of you guys in the collective i talked about this last week i talked about how your friends was about to turn on you some of you have clients that have turned on you. Some of you have people that you just started dating that turn on you. Some of you have your coworkers acting funny towards you. And it's because this person is attacking every low vibrational person in your life. They're being used to either spy on the collective by this person. Or they're being used to create you from, to um, not create you, to stop you from 
moving into your north node and doing the things that you have been doing you know um so i told you guys last week to be mindful of your friends and your family for those of you who was here for that message i told you guys that there was people that were going to start to have their heart convicted by uh, the spirit and they were going to start to tell you things like they don't even know why they're saying uh, like they're jealous of you they're envious of you they were going to start to move funny and really it's because they need to move out the way they need to move out the way right so for some of you guys in the last week or two you have maybe even and if it hasn't happened yet it's going to happen um, you have had to let go of some friends. You've had to let go of some people in your life because this energy is moving into a space where it's create spirit is creating room for you guys. You guys, this is a good, this is good too, because you guys are moving into a season where you're getting everything back that was stolen from you and you're getting your reparations back. And this is exactly why I talked about the grim reaper coming to collect this person because in this case what this person has been doing it has been so detrimental to the spiritual community and it has been so detrimental to uh, the astral realm that this person has to pay with their life okay because this person has been actively like infringing on a lot of you guys's free will and they have been doing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over without retaliation from you. Some of you for years. And so the consequences is heavy now. They had an opportunity at the beginning of the year and around January, February, um, where a message came through where they had an opportunity where they were in this energy to explain to you what was going on and to apologize to you. OK, and to confront the situation and finally come clean. All right. If they would have had come clean about the situation, karma would have still reared her ugly head, but not in this way. These people are so egotistical that they couldn't drive themselves to actually come towards you and tell the truth. Instead, they let it eat them up and they continue to act like what they were doing was OK. Even though deep down in their soul, they knew that it wasn't anymore because they're start, they're, their spiritual eyes are starting to show. Meaning the veil is being removed. Meaning they're starting to see things for what they actually are. Because for a long time, for a lot of you guys, this masculine was being influenced by a karmic feminine who was telling them lies. Who was also a reader or some sort of... Uh, person that's in divination but their gift too comes from a very dark place and so they was not interpreting you correctly they were saying a lot of things about you that weren't true collective okay and so because this this masculine trusted this person and they were deeply um confused by lust and the jezebel spirit they believe what this person said about you. And so they attacked you over and over and over and over again. As if you were the karmic. As if you done something to them. As if you hurt them. But it's all because the karmic was in their ear telling them, yeah, that person's a snake. That person's a liar. That person's out to get you. That person's this, that person's that. Meanwhile, for a lot of you guys... You was only with this person for a little while. Some of you guys were only with this person for a few months. Um, some of you guys a year. Like, not even really that long. Okay? Um, and so, how could you ever have done any of these things? First of all, this person couldn't even tell. For some of you guys, four years. But this person couldn't even add up what you were doing to what the karmic was saying. But they had blinders on. They had a veil on. This karmic had done some sort of like dominion magic to the point where they were controlling this person. They were controlling their minds. They were controlling their the way they see things. Okay. This person is also very good at like um, like covert tactics. This person could read like Robert Greene. Um, but they really are like a master manipulator. Okay. 
<laughs> and that's funny you say that because a lot something came out in the energy about this person having autism okay um and i'm not hating on nobody that got autism do your thing most of my clients got autism okay um no your question didn't come up babes um but most of my clients are on the spectrum so uh, I, I don't feel like people in the spectrum are dumb but I do feel as though you know it takes them a little longer to get to the point right now this person is on the spectrum some way somehow this person is also dealing with some sort of psychosis this has come out several times in the reading all right um and this is all unchecked undiagnosed all this stuff you get what i'm saying and so this person's minds <laughs> no offense he acted like he was so slick but slow yeah for sure i i totally get that i totally get that and, and what a lot of you guys i feel like what a lot of people don't want to admit is that having been around people that are on the spectrum and i'm not saying all not saying that don't take me that way Having been around people that are on the spectrum as far as like autism and stuff like that, um, they can be very manipulative. No lie. They can be very manipulative. They, they can be very... Do I keep my options open or allow divine time to do its thing concerning my twenty nine? Oh, you keep your you can you definitely keep your options open, babe. You definitely keep your options open, hun. Keep your options open. Divine time is always gonna work it out. Don't ever wait. Don't ever do don't ever do nothing like that. Keep your options open, babes. Um Yeah, what's up? What's up where the auntie's at? Yeah, so for a lot of you guys, this is what's happening, okay? Um, this person is very sick, okay? And a lot of you guys don't understand that for, like, a lot of these men that be on the street committing these crimes and, like, hurting people and stuff like that, it's not what you think it is. You be surprised. Trust me when I tell you from experience, like going into these prisons like you know i've been in these prisons before i've been in these prisons for those of you who don't know i do have a psych degree like i've been in these prisons to talk to some of these people right <laughs> and it's interesting it's so interesting it's so interesting right um and what i'm gonna say about this is you'd be surprised at how many of these these men are incarcerated and they have a rap sheet a mile long and then when they take a psych eval or they take a fucking like uh what is it called rads test how high they score a lot of these men in these facilities that have a rap sheet a mile long that get triggered that be stabbing people that be doing all this stuff you'd be surprised that these people have been on a spectrum Score high on the RADS test. Score high. So this whole time this person was autistic. This whole time this person was undiagnosed. This whole time, like, among other things, obviously, right? <laughs> um, among, among obvious, among other things. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, people really, like, have this misconstrued thing behind it but autism can present itself in very harmful destructive chaotic deadly ways okay it can be okay um don't let nobody fool you and try to make it seem like oh you know it's like how we see the children and when the children are struggling and stuff oh when you see an adult you full on think you're in a relationship with a narcissistic, malevolent person because they cannot regulate their emotions. They cannot understand social cues. They do not. A lot of them do not have empathy. They can't cultivate empathy. Okay. So 
there's there's two things that are happening and so a lot of times you misconstrue narcissism for this autism and it autism is looking very malevolent because the person's punching holes in your walls they're doing all kinds of things because they can't regulate their emotions they don't know what's happening they don't know how to tune into the natural world then they then they hitting on you like you know what i mean then they hitting on random people in the street like you know what i mean so yeah yeah but something came out here with this person being on the spectrum as well meaning the reason that they're so easily influenced by this karmic individual is because this person doesn't think for themselves i think i told y'all this in another in another reading like this person doesn't think for themselves they can't think for themselves it's like why do they ask everybody what to do why don't they make decisions on their own because something about them is inherently off this is the type of person that goes to their mother, their cousin. They believe everybody. They ask everybody what they should do with their life. What they think about people that they've never met. They, they take advice from people. They never take their own advice. They never, they never, they don't know what that is. He used to say, what do you want me to do? Exactly. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about. This is, these are people that are undiagnosed, a lot of them. And people don't know that. People don't know that. These are people that are undiagnosed and they literally cannot be in a relationship with you. And it's like, you meet this person, you think they're cute, you think they're fly, you think they're all of that. And you start talking to them and it's like, goo goo gaga. <laughs> I remember one time, what was this? This was like, I want to say six years ago. I dated this person and... I did not know that this person had Asperger's until we started actually getting to know each other. But they had Asperger's and I just thought they were an asshole. <laughs> but then I started understanding like they couldn't read social cues. They couldn't. But they was fine as fuck. Okay. Fine as hell. All right. So that was a that was a killer. But yeah, don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. <laughs> Don't let them fool you. Um, when I got them spiritual pains, it was a wrap. I feel that. No lie. No lie. I feel that. Yeah. It's hard meeting somebody that is just dope as hell. And then you're like, there's just nothing up there. <laughs> so there's just nothing. Oh, wow. Okay. <sighs> Sucks. A cookie, a cookie with no sprinkles. Wow. Okay. All right. It's a gluten-free cookie out here in the world. Look good, but it tastes nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Just air. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but for some of you guys, this could have been your story. And so that's what happened here. Um, but right now this person is going through the worst because they have to answer to this deity. This deity is on their ass right now in real time. Why? Because a lot of you guys have turned the wheel and you have beat the odds. And you beat the odds because the shoes wasn't for you in the first place. They try to put some shoes on you that wasn't for you. Now, imagine a person on the spectrum or a person who scores high on the spectrum who doesn't really know how to interpret the world. Imagine them getting into spirituality and doing whatever. Have y'all seen that before? I've seen it twice. I've seen it twice. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. It's just not. Like, it's, it's, a, it's not a good look. Wow. It's wild. Mm, what's happening? I didn't deserve none of that shit ever. No, you didn't. You absolutely didn't. You absolutely didn't deserve that. The collective did not deserve that. None of you guys deserve that. Okay? But this person, something's wrong. Something's not right. They listen to people lie about you. They didn't make up their own mind about you. It's it's something off. Like literally turned off. 
to the point where they did all this shit against you because of a thought, because of something that was being said to them. And this is exactly why this shit is so fucking dangerous. Because imagine a person who's an undiagnosed on the spectrum in some sort of way. Imagine that and them having people around them that are toxic, that are influencing them to do things because they're easily influenced. Because they don't have their own internal guiding system. So oftentimes these people join gangs for brotherhood, sisterhood, and these are the people that jump on the front lines. To go fight, to go be the first one to, to, to you know, pew pew and stab. You know what I mean? Because they're listening to their people. They own a spectrum. They don't have no internal guiding system. Like, you know what I mean? They, they look good. They can hold a, a regular conversation with you. But you, you don't really know. A lot of these people being gangs, they be looking for help. They be looking for some sort of like solidarity and they be on a spectrum and they be easily influenced these are the people that will be like yeah i'll take the rap why they haven't even thought about it haven't even processed a lot of what, what what a lot of you guys don't understand is that a lot of people on the spectrum cannot cannot they don't think about consequences the way that you and i do okay there's something wired in the mind that doesn't allow them to predict consequences. That doesn't allow them to see one plus one equals this outcome. They can only think that in close proximity to it happening to them. So like, for instance, they can only know how they feel if they're connected to someone that makes them feel a way. That's the only, that's the only way in which they're able to experience uh, an emotion, right? And you said he functions as a normal person. A lot of, a lot of uh, people on the spectrum do, but they go outside and they mask. They mask heavily. They mask heavily. They mask heavily. They have been taught how to mask. They have taught themselves how to mask in society. But when they come back in the world with you, where you're the closest person to them, this is why it looks like narcissism to a lot of people. Because it's like, why do you treat people on the outside? Why do you treat people on the outside good and you come back home and treat me bad, right? And it's not that. It's that these autistics, a lot of them, not all, comes back to the house undiagnosed and you're their favorite person. And since you're their favorite person, you get the brunt of the, the, the fuck shit, okay? Because you're their comfortable place. You're their safe place. They feel like they can let it all hang out where you, where you at outside they want to fit in okay <laughs> they understand that much but they don't understand the consequences of certain behaviors okay yeah so for you guys in the collective this person was on a spectrum and this is why they did all the things they did this person was the type of person that went to voodoo they went to santeria they went to hoodoo they they went to whatever ancient fucking they went to buddhism they went to fucking hinduism this, this is the type of person that tried to dig their fingers in every single thing doing it because this is what people do it's like sometimes people in the spectrum what they do they go to the they go to the um store and they get a hundred different sources and they try them all sticking all their fingers in each one they have a fascination with doing things over and over and over again. Um, and this will manifest in their everyday life, including even when it comes to spirituality. It's very dangerous. Okay. This is why I said a lot of them join gangs. Because they can be easily influenced to join gangs. To, to get jumped in. To go steal. Rob, kill. Like... They can be easily influenced because they don't have the, the thing in their mind that tells them, oh, hey, there's a consequence to this. They don't anticipate that. That's the only difference. So this person never thought that doing this work against you, working with this deity in Santeria, that there would be any consequences if you weren't the one who was actually doing work against them. 
No one, they, they never thought about that. You and I, right? You and I would not go forward and be like, hey, let me go, let me go um, down to somebody's back basement and, and find some hoodoo worker, voodoo worker to do work on somebody. And I don't know, they did something to me. They could be innocent. They could be an innocent person. I could have them mixed up. We could have them mixed up. Like, or you, you, you know that karma is very, is very real. Good night, Kimmy. Good night, my love. You know that karma is very real. These people on the spectrum do not think about that. They don't think about that. They just think about doing. Oh, they're doing something to me. Do it back. They don't think, oh, what if this person's innocent? What have I seen from this person? Um, what, what, what has this person shown me? Is this indicative to their character? They don't think about none of that. They do not think about that shit. <laughs> they do not think about none of that shit. <laughs> um, the only difference is really the practices, hun. There, it's kind of like, um, I guess it's kind of like Chinese food and Thai food. Like they're, they're Asian descent, right? But the, the way they cook and prepare their meals are different. That's the best way I can say it to you. It's the practices. <sighs> and so, um, yes. Uh, so, yeah, this is what this person was doing. Okay. Um, but in the dream, right? The collective was holding a pair of shoes. So you guys were holding a pair of shoes that were that were clear, like Cinderella shoes. A lot of you guys thought this person was your person. Okay, you thought this was your Cinderella moment. That's this what these clear shoes are representing. These glass slippers. You were holding them in your hand. All right. Now you thought that that was your prince, and it turned out not to be. Because this person was wearing a mask at the ball, like in Cinderella, right? Now, in the dream, I saw something happening with the energy throughout the day. So, so again, pay attention to your days coming, upcoming the Capricorn moon. I really need you guys in the collective to really pay attention to, to your days when it comes to the Capricorn moon. Because there's a lot of chaos energy. There's a lot of chaos energy out here right now. There's people getting pushed in the train tracks. There's people getting stabbed. There's people getting all kinds. Of, there's a lot of violence. Why? Because I told you guys the other day. There's a there the the full moon in Capricorn represents karma, and this is when a lot of this death energy is going to happen. You're already seeing it happen in celebrity news. This is when a lot of sacrifice is happening. Okay. Um, so again, some of you guys' persons is going to be sacrificed. All right. Some people are going to be making funeral arrangements. That's just what it is. All right. Um, but in the dream, notice that these, this day right here, you were going through the day and you were seeing it's the 20, 20, the, the full moon is the 23rd, I believe. Okay. But uh, right now we're in the shadow period. Okay. Right now that we're in the shadow period, I need you guys to be doing your cleansing, be doing your fasting, and I need you guys not to be going anywhere, and this is not to speak fear into you at all, but I need you guys to understand that you're going to be protected either way, right? You're going to be protected, you know, whatever you do, all right? But understand that when this shadow period is out here, this particular moon, it causes people to do a lot of devil energy type things all right it's just the energy it's just the way the energy is moving right now all right now pay attention to your days you're gonna see like ambulances more on the corners when you're walking around you're gonna see like you're gonna experience more delays when it comes to like if you if you guys take trains or you take public transportation um also if you drive a car you there will be more traffic than usual okay um this is the spirit's way of protecting you mm -hmm. 
Um, but it's also the spirit's way of letting you know that when you start to see a collection of like chaos energy, ambulances, EMS workers, um, delays, polyps and shit like that, that means something's happening. Something's moving through the energy, right? And so pay attention to that because for some of you guys, you're going to get news on a day in which you experience a lot of delays. You're going to get news of something. All right. And in the dream, I saw that this day that you got the news of this for some of you guys, this person was okay um, by some sort of cartel member. I know that make it, that sounds crazy, but these are how my dreams go. But it doesn't actually represent a cartel member, but it remember it, it represents the spirit. It represents the spirit of the M of the the deity that I was talking about coming to collect like a gang. You initiated yourself into this gang, right? I'm talking about that person. Are you guys following? You guys following? I'm trying to say what I'm saying. It. But in the dream, a cartel member came, showed up, and took this person out. Okay? Literally. And said to you, and I quote, You didn't see nothing. Right? You didn't see nothing. This person had it coming. And then for some of you guys, you have a strong relationship with your sister. And your sister could act as a like a beaconing system or like a sounding board for you or protection. Maybe you, some of you guys, a sister is like really prayed up or like really like, you know, like they love you a lot. So they cover you a lot in their love. For some of you, that could be relevant. Um, but in the dream, one of you guys, a sister of the collective sister or a family member that covers you. This could be a mom, your auntie, your sister, whatever, that covers you, came to you, and showed you why this happened. And this happened because this person tried to put a pair of shoes on you, those Cinderella shoes that did not fit you. They di That did not fit you. And this is why this happened to them. Meaning they went around and told lies. And did work against you based on lies. <laughs> and this is why they're gone now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some of you guys were too stunned to speak. <laughs> that could be relevant. The movie The Shadow Man. Um, yes. Okay, your daughters. Um, that could be relevant. My, my, my. Yeah. No, I'm not doing a free reading, babes. Um, so, yeah, I know that was a lot, but <laughs> this reading is probably an hour long. I'm just going to pull a few cards since we've, we've been channeling for so long. Um, I'm just going to pull a few cards for confirmation. I'm not going to do my normal spread because we've been on here pretty long. But I want you guys to see the confirmations and I want you guys to see the details because the details come out in the cards. OK, my dreams are very prophetic in nature and those come out before I do these readings. I just use the cards to confirm and to get more details so the details can be more accurate for you. OK, gratitude. All right. I call on my angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, and I ask you to cover me and protect me. Keep me safe, all right? Please block out any negative or evil influence that may be trying to hijack this reading, all right? Please allow me to hear the messages clearly and precisely, Ashe. Thank you, Didi. You know what came out, though, um, guys? The... A Snow White and the Huntsman. If you saw Snow White and the Huntsman, um, Snow White was trapped in um, a, a tower. And that evil, wicked girl, um, she tried to keep her away from the land because she was the one that was going to bring la the land back to life. You know, it was barren. But the lady was jealous of her. And for a lot of you guys, this is the karmic that's jealous of you. And so they told the masculine that you were bad. 
do this to her because they don't want you to create life with the masculine because for a lot of you guys this masculine would have done a lot this was your person for a lot of you guys not everyone but for, for a lot of you guys it, this was your person and you were supposed to contribute to this person in helping them and heal them and this karmic did not want this to happen okay yeah that just came on this weekend and I was watching it But a lot of you guys are getting ready to have your pretty woman moments, meaning not saying that you're a hoe or nothing like that, but you're finna get your pretty woman moment like somebody's going to come in and actually be your person. Okay. <laughs> Just that was weird. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Fuck out of here. This crap. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. All right, Spirit, show me something. What else is out here for the collective in regards to this message? What do they need to know? Clown. Straight up clown energy, bro. Clown as hell. Okay, clown, clown, okay, anyways, so we got the page of pentacles out here, right, the page of, <laughs> the page of pentacles out here, you see this, this man is a little silly, he's dabbling and dealing with anything that he sees, it. he's picking up shit, what does this button do, oh, I wonder what this do, blowing up shit and all that, this is this, um, this masculine who was in this childlike energy, and he was just acting like he was on the spectrum. I told you there's something inherently wrong with this person, okay? They are also green with envy because they are misdirecting their energy towards you because they envy your light, okay? Um, as you can see, he has something in his hand that he's playing with. This is like a science experiment, all right? And this person is like trying to rip out your soil. This person tried to unearth your foundation of you as an individual of you on a spirit level okay you see this they tried to make your foundation unsteady you see what he has in his pocket he has um a bunch of pots like pots that you plant planters pots and he's taking one pot and unearthing the pot from the unearthing the plant from the entire pot playing with a life because this is a life a plant is a life okay so this person play with your life by playing with your destiny, by playing with your free will, just because it looked like something to do, just because they believe that it was something they should do, just because they don't have a brain. OK. Exactly. Exactly highlighting that we have thoughts okay it's only now that this person is considering their decisions it's only now that they're taking they're taking what they did into consideration why because as i've said before this person doesn't experience consequences the same way they don't think about it until they actually start to see it happening in real time and now that they're experiencing consequences they're thinking oh maybe i shouldn't have done that no shit sherlock <laughs> no shit Things are happening in this masculine's life that they cannot believe. Things are happening on a very paranormal level. Things are happening uh, on, a, on a financial level. They're happening in weird fucking ways. Their life is just being shaken up because everything's coming back. 
everything they try to do to you is coming back. So they're being haunted by what they've done to you in their own life. Okay? And plus, this spirit that I was talking about is haunting them. Literally taunting them. Remember when I was talking about how um, uh, in the dream it was a cartel member, right? Um, shaking them down, coming, for, coming to collect because they couldn't pay, right? They had to pay with their life right remember how i said that um overstand that this deity is now like calling their phone line and i'm using analogies they're calling their phone like oh where's my money where's my shit that you promised me so what's happening is in real time they're experiencing like being haunted like you know what i mean like oh shit is happening delays fucked up shit like fucked up shit okay yeah this is what they wish for you all right we got the ten of books here okay all right the ten of books is sim similar to the ten of pentacles okay it's basically like everything that you've ever wanted okay um but this deck in, in itself is about shadows so basically this person's tried to try to burn down your house okay not literally but figuratively okay they tried to burn down your house and swim away but now their house is burning down because the ten of pentacles is in reverse okay it's going back okay you're getting what you're getting what you deserve this person's losing what they stole from you okay in various ways Highlighting that, we have false. You see that false? False document, okay? And you see how it says truth, 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 truth all over it? Truth, 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 right? Highlighting this ten of books. The reason that they don't even know why they tried to fucking burn your house down. They're fucking weird, okay? So this false document represents somebody putting a mouth on you, okay? Not putting a mouth on you like there is... I'm talking about putting a mouth on you, putting that serpent tongue on you, spitting lies, spewing hatred, spewing that nasty shit about you that was not true. All that shit is being revealed as false in the spirit. This is exactly why that deity is coming to collect. Because let me tell you something about that deity, okay? Most respects to her, right? Most respects. However, she too has to answer to someone. Okay, she answers to the spirit as well. That's why I say that everything is not what you think it is. Everything is not what you think it is. These spirits have to go through the most high as well. And if they check your temperature and they say, oh, that's such and such. Let's, let's, use, a, yeah, let's use an example. Somebody comes to this deity and say they want X, Y, and Z on this person. That deity still has to go through a system right and what's happening is it's like a it's like a contract it's like a 360 deal if you know anything about music deals it's like a contract okay all right i'll i'll front you the money all right you got a good voice you cool i'll front you the money i'll invest in you but you got to give me my cut and if you don't make it back if by the time i finish doing this work and i see the documents and stuff and I get the paperwork in and your fucking credit score come back and the shit don't check out well then you gotta pay back you gotta get the money back cause you, you technically try to come in on this situation faulty and when I check your paperwork it was inaccurate when I check this person's soul when I check this person's heart when I checked in with the spirit is what this deity is saying um I saw that this person was an earth angel. I saw that this person had a high calling on their life. I saw that this person didn't do nothing to you. I saw that this person do not deserve this. And I saw that this person is heavily surrounded by their own spirit team that outrank me. Okay? This person's heavily regarded. And I'm talking about a lot of you guys in the collective. A lot of you guys are in this energy 
And that's what I was saying in the beginning. Spirit don't play about you. Spirit don't play about you. Because you don't play about yourself. And you don't play about the spirit. And you walk with the spirit in your heart. And you and you treat people beautiful. And you treat God's children beautiful. And you, you walk with love. Right? Yeah. So, this deity checked. And it may have took some time. Because sometimes... You need to understand that these deities have a personality too. They have a personality too. And sometimes they like to play games. Sometimes they like to do things. Sometimes they like to say, yeah, 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 yeah. He, 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 go, he go the money. He go the money. Take it, take it, take it. All right. Six months. Eight months. Twelve months. Two years. Three years. Huh, I guess I got away with it. You never get away with shit. Just because you ain't heard from her don't mean nothing. <laughs> don't mean nothing. She was just waiting until the interest occurred. She's a businesswoman. Interest has occurred properly. Let me go check my documents. I see that this person is not who you say they are. It's time to collect. And it's not just what I gave you. You need to give me back. 30% interest plus tax and tax on top of that because it's been two years. So, what next? <laughs> this person thought they got away for this. They thought they got away with this. They thought they, they thought. They thought. They thought they could play. That's why somebody in here earlier said... You think you're using her. No, 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 no. You can't use the spirits. They use you. That's why you got to know what you're doing. You got to know self. You got to know who you're talking to. Okay? So this person didn't know that. They thought this was a game. And now it's time to pay. And so this is why a lot of people are getting, yeah, out of here. All right. All these lies that they told about you are now being uncovered. These pe people in their family are even looking at them like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you really did this? Like, people around them are starting to look at them weird. Like, something's off. They really put a lot of thought into doing this against you. And they're, they've been saying a lot of things about you. And it, people are like, nah. People are starting to see that this person's fucked up. Okay? We also have the Knight of Torches. Okay? <laughs> this person tries to find a way back to you. That's what it is. They're trying to find a way back to you. This person's searching for... Um, some guidance and wisdom in the light. Okay, this person is trying to redeem themselves, right? It's the collective energy, love. It's the collective energy, hun. Collective. It's a it's a literal collective. That is what we are. We are one entity. <laughs> Literally, we're one entity. This is how collective energy works, right? I don't have to watch another tarot reader to see what messages come out because I could just do it in real time and the shit comes out that way. Why? Because it's a collective energy. We're all a part of the collective. We're one body. This is why the world works the way that it does. This is why you see these things happening in celebrity news that are manifesting in these readings because it's happening to celebrities too. This is collective energy. You can see it outside your neighborhood. You can look outside the window and see it happening to somebody on the street. You can hear it from your neighbor. You get what I'm saying? And you're like, hi, huh, I just watched a tarot reader that said that. Because it's a collective energy. That's how it works. We also have priest out here. Right? This person's searching for some sort of priest or some sort of assistance from the spirit. They're trying to turn their life around. All right. They're trying to go backwards. They're trying to go backwards. Okay. 
um, no worries, Cammy. They're trying to go backwards. They're trying to come up with some sort of solution and go to God. All right. And they're saying this person could even be trying to go to church because they're, th that spirit is on their ass. This is the type of person that's going to be like, oh, yeah, I tried spirituality. It wasn't for me. I had to go back to the church. Okay. Why? Because demons were following me. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what, did, what, what happened? What happened? Why was you over there? Did the spirit call you over there? Or you was just over there playing around. Not knowing what you was doing. What you was doing. Now you want to go back to the church. Now you want to say spirituality is evil. Now you want to, This is the type of person that, 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 that's, that's trying to do this. Denounce it. Because they're being tortured by the spirit. But they're not taking accountability for the shit that they did. As disrespect to the spirit. The church can't save them. Okay? The church cannot save them. I'm sorry. Why? Because they're not going for the right reasons. They're not going to get, really get to know God. They're going to save faith. If they was going to, if they was going to really get to know God, maybe they might be 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 okay. But they're going to save faith. They're jumping from one thing to another. They jump and ship instead of taking accountability. All right. We also have aliens. Okay, so a lot of you guys are. Um, star seeds and we talked about this last week where I had a, another prophetic dream where you guys were being helped out by your star seed family okay your star seed family some of you guys um, can connect to the Anunnaki the Pleiadians the Lyrans okay um, this could be relevant to some of you guys in the collective but your spirit your spirit fam is jumping in from from um uh, your galactic family is jumping into this. A lot of you guys is different. A lot of you guys is in the coll collective have a tie to a lot of places. And everybody had to jump in. Everybody had to jump in. Your galactic family had to jump in. Yeah, your, your fucking spiritual family had to jump in. Like, you know what I mean? Like... A lot of you look confirmation confirmation because this situation was so detrimental this this situation i told you guys before it went to spiritual court this situation was being dealt with in the spirit because this person was supposed to be your person this person was not supposed to do this to you they wasn't it's almost like this person spit on their blessing a lot of you guys don't know that this person's this person's abundance was supposed to be received through you. Sometimes, sometimes people's abundance and their, 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 <laughs> and I know it's going to sound crazy, but it's true. Like your abundance is received through another person. So for instance, if spirit puts a man in your life or a woman and you treat this person wrong and that person was the key to your abundance, and the keys to setting you financially free. Not to say that you're using them. But this is your door. Right? This is your door. Um, gratitude for sharing the life. And you, dis and you disrespect them. And you toss them to the side like nothing. You will receive consequences for that. You will receive that. Because for a lot of you guys. You was this person's abundance. You had the idea. That they were supposed to build off of. For both of you guys. You had the idea. You had the wisdom. You were the brain. They were the body. But instead they stepped on the brain. And was like, nah, I could just do this all by myself. <laughs> and for that reason, they will be in ruin. For however long the spirit says so. You know what I mean? There's also a faith out here. Okay. The spirit is asking you to have faith because this is out here with this alien card that just came out here, meaning reinforcement has been called in. You don't have nothing to worry about. You guys are in your winning season. All right. Then we have Ace of Books. Right. 
I talked about this a couple of weeks ago about how this karmic individual that this masculine was with was doing a lot of spell work against the divine feminine um, in the event to uh, make her suffer in some sort of way. Okay, the karmic, I mean, the, the masculine found this book. All right. This was this was a um, like a like a like a, a manuscript, like a spell book, like a binder like a journal okay this masculine finally found out who this karmic was this karmic hit herself real good real good and clean this karmic tried to act like she was so sweet so kind i'm telling you a lot for a lot of you guys this karmic individual was their mother their sister whoever but for for some of you guys this karmic individual that they were dealing with was an ex okay that they left for you okay um and now this is yeah that they left for you and they disguise themselves in your energy meaning they sh they try to show up like you like they were so cool they were so nice they were so sweet da -da -da -da. no and then also uh, a lot of you guys this ex individual is a person who wears like typical head yes a shapeshifter yes exactly she wears typical typical head wraps um in order to disguise her true intention so this is the type of person that you would never suspect is like like a jezebel spirit or into like that kind of stuff because when you see them at face value you're like oh they're really homely like they just cover up themselves a lot you know what i mean and this is how this person gets away with this type of energy but because a lot of you guys in the collective are divine feminines a lot of you guys know your you have a balance with your masculine masculine and feminine um and you don't denounce you don't denounce um your human vessel and so for a lot of you guys you you really pride yourself on taking care of a human vessel and dressing up your avatar and because you do that this ex also presented to this person that you were some sort of like hoe or some sort of like person that's easy or in the streets or something like that just because of your good looks or the way you dress okay or maybe that you wasn't really into spirituality or you wasn't into what you were saying you was into because of how you look 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 that's not a real high priestess that's not a real empress that's not a you know what i mean a lot of this was being said behind a lot of you guys' backs because you guys don't wear head wraps. You guys don't look like the typical person that's connected to spirit. You don't. You just don't. Like, you just fucking don't. All right. Yeah. And your short shorts with your booty hanging out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so that don't mean you a hoe. That don't mean you a hoe. That don't mean you give it away. That don't mean nothing. <laughs> That don't mean nothing. So this person highlighting that book though is this love spell here. This love spell? Yeah. That's where this masculine found all this ex's secrets and he started to see her for who she actually is. All right, and that's why this masculine is going through the motions right now, not only because of what they did to this deity, but everything is spiraling. This this masculine is no longer with this karmic. Everything has been unearthed. Everything has been revealed. This masculine is going through it, and there will be some sort of consequences that end in death. Okay, and again, death is not always literal. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. We also have desire out here. All right. <laughs> Look at that. Y'all see that? Desire. Fire and desire. These spirits is calling this masculine. Calling this karmic. It's time to go for some of them. Because they play too much. See you tomorrow, Dakota. Thank you for being here, babes. They play too much. Exactly. Look what came out.
They play too much. That's just what it is. All right, Spirit, what's the outcome? What's the outcome for the collective? at the bottom of the deck body and flat okay we have fuego okay things are heating up for this person again like that card that just came out with those spirits calling them to hell things are heating up okay things are getting bad all right we also have red flags take heed risky situation red flag okay this is this is basically this is to both of you guys okay in the collective and then your person all right this person's a, a walking red flag at this time meaning they have a target on their back this is why these people are looking for them in the spirit okay um this is why i need a lot of you guys to stay prayed up stay cleansed all that stuff because you know you just don't want to be this is a thing right there's a lot of places that people should not frequent when there are when there are full moons and there are portals okay a lot of you guys don't know that a lot of these places are very very spiritual and they're very very they're very good places where spirits like to come and roam and hide because they can still they can hijack people like physical beings that are here on the earthly realm during these full moons and during these times so a lot of places are like uh train stations okay because these are portals too some of these trains go back and forth hospitals um these trains go back and forth and there are trains that go back and forth that pick up the dead okay um and they come through the station just like in the movie ghost that's an actual thing okay hospitals um uh cemeteries obviously um train stations uh where else anywhere that has like tunnels like like you know uh, if you guys are from new york like up, up up um near washington heights they have like on 191 they have a tunnel over there that people have to walk through you get what i'm saying like stuff like that you feel me stay away from those types of places all right spirits be lurking around there all right even at the fucking post office you be mail goes in and out that's a destination center all right We also got cleanse. Like I said, cleanse yourself. Stay prayed up. Cleanse yourself. Don't go out. Don't leave the house without your protection. Do what you got to do. Reduce your ne negativity and purify your home. Purify your home. Do your, do your cleansing rituals. Do your cleansing baths. Do your uncrossing baths. Do what's necessary. Okay. That's what I got for you. All right. Hope you guys like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for my YouTube fam so you can receive every notification when I upload. I'm also having, I also have memberships available now on my channel. So if you're interested in a membership, there is a membership on my channel where you get exclusive access to um, the readings and then uh, the membership readings, and then you also get one free um one hour reading per month so you guys can go check it out gratitude gratitude for being here i hope you guys enjoy the message yes yes yeah it's um it's because the memberships are paid so the so i have memberships that are on my channel i have three memberships well actually four but there's a 24 dollars membership that um it's 24 dollars a month but you get two one hour readings per month but you pay 24 a month for the exclusive membership access on the page and then there's a 9.99 one where 
you pay $9.99 a month and you get one free reading per month. Okay? So you guys can go check it out if you like, if you're into that kind of thing. Gratitude. The link to my YouTube is in the bio. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys for being here. <sighs> Thank you so much, guys. Did that connect with any of you guys? Did any of you guys feel, feel the vibe? Oh, sure. What lipstick is this? Let me see. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm going to tell you right now what this lipstick is. Give me a second. I'll be right back. I'm going to tell you right now what this lipstick is. Give me a second. Gratitude with the auntie's app. Okay, so I got two. I got two of them on right now. I have the NYX, the NYX NYX lip lingerie in the color. Uh, what does this say? Des D E S Nuda N U D A. Okay, I got that around the perimeter. And then I have, um, what's this one? Carmelo. Carmelo in the center. Okay. And then I have on the NYX Duck Plump in Mocha Me Crazy. This one. Yeah, mocha me crazy. Mocha me crazy. So that was Carmelo in NYX lingerie and Desnuda. And then mocha me crazy. <sighs> what highlight is this? This is like, this is like an all over face highlight. I, I got to look into that because I've had it for a while. It's like not like an actual highlight. It's more like a bronzer that I just put all over the face. <laughs> Thank you. You said mocha me crazy. Yes, I have found it on. Um, well, they did. They did like a, a thing for it on TikTok shop. But now it's like, I don't know, like 14 or something like that. But it was six when I got it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I, I've done a lot of things in my guy in my life, guys. Like, I have been a, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. <laughs> I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I did makeup, on and off for about ten years. Okay, I'm also licensed LMT, so a licensed massage therapist. So, I did that for five years. I'm also, um. I have my certi certification for waxing. So I used to work at European Wax Center too, waxing the coochies, okay? You girl done done some things. <laughs> Thank you though. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And then I found my true calling. And I found that through, um, through, well, I've always been clairvoyant, but um, I guess I didn't really start using it per se until I had people sitting in my chair for makeup. And I used to tell them things about themselves. And they used to tell me about their life and tell me about like things that were going on. People just open up to me and tell me things. And when I would give them advice, they would always feel like they were talking to somebody that knew them. And so later on in life, I decided, okay, you know, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> yes, many hats. Yes, absolutely. You're an MUA. Hey, shout out to the MUAs, period. Love that. Love that. Yeah. 
Absolutely. They come for the experience. They come for the experience, for sure. People up, open up to you on the train. I believe that wholeheartedly. You have a great spirit. Yes. But yeah, I've been doing that now for... I was doing that for 10 years. Then I did the... Then I used to do Reiki. I used to do Reiki sessions, pulling energy out of people, doing um, Swedish massage. Uh, I stopped doing that because it was really taking a toll on my body. And you guys know, for well, for those of you who don't know, I do um, human design. And so in human design, it teaches you about your ener your energetic body. And so I always used to wonder why I was so tired, why I was so overwhelmed. That's because I'm not designed to work nine to fives. I don't have a lot of energy on reserve in my chakra systems. So um, I'm more or less meant to wait for the invitation wait for you know whatever it is some people like manifesting generators they have a lot of energy on reserve these are the people you see uh, running from here and there nah 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 i'm not like that so i'm either sleep or i'm preserving my energy Yes, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And if you need a reading, hit me up. Everything is on my the link in my bio on my website. Yeah. And I'm also an author. So those of you who guys want to check out my books, they are on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. So you can check those out as well. Thank you so much, love. I appreciate you. And I'm glad you guys feel like you learned something. Have a good night, Dee Dee. Thank you for coming. Yes, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, guys, that's that's me. That's this little gist of Nibira. <laughs> yeah. And I've done many things in my life. And I'm not that I'm not that um I'm not that old. I just always believed in like living. Living. Like truly living. And that's what I've always done. Like, I've done whatever my heart wanted to do at a whim's notice, at a moment's notice. Because otherwise, you know, who says we have the time to wait around? You know? So I feel like I really have experienced life in the short amount of time that I've been here. Absolutely. I encourage everyone to do what your heart desires. Whatever your spirit is calling you to do, jump on it because you don't know. Tomorrow's only a concept until it happens. It's just a concept. It's just a thought. It's just an idea until it happens. You don't know. Yes, guys. What's up, Shay? Shay, welcome to the live. If you're still in here, I received your email like maybe a month ago, and I responded to it, but there was no, there was no. It, it came back to me as if the email was wrong. Good night, Simple Life. Thank you so much for being here, babes. Appreciate you. What you guys finna do? You wanna sleep? Y'all gonna be it? <laughs> Y'all gonna be it? You're welcome. You're welcome, my love. You're so welcome.
1234. I feel that. Hey girl. I think I'm gonna do some work before bed and then I'll head out. But thank you guys so much for kicking it with me. I appreciate you. And do I feel like being on YouTube right now? I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> I might be over there in a second. You never know with me. But either way, follow me on YouTube. Link is in the bio. I might go live over there. Um, finish out the all signs reading for what the spirit wants you to know. Okay? So I did a part one to um, what's being hidden from you in the spirit uh, for all signs. I'm going to do part two probably today or tomorrow. I really don't know. But we'll see. Have a good night. Mwah.